Good morning and welcome to our Lady of the Liberty Parish. Today's Mass intentions are for Thanksgiving for Angelica Munoz, Maggie Indiano, Linda Fregoso, for the eternal repose of uh, COVID-1, and for the uh, recovery of baby and Sarah the days, Umar. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And in your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty my God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have prayed and seen in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most serious fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me in the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last life. Amen. Let us pray. Father of mercy, who gave us in Saint Damien a shining witness of love for the poorest and most compassionate, grant that by his intercession as faithful witnesses of the heart of your son Jesus, we too may be servants of the most needy and rejected. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cyprus and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak the Greeks as well proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For when he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year, they met in the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, all you nations, praise the Lord. All you all nations, nations, praise, nations the praise the Lord. Lord. His foundation upon the whole mountains. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of me, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. I tell you of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord. Of the sea, Philistia, Tyre, and Tophia. This man was born there, and of Zion we shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the most high Lord. All the nations praise the Lord. They shall know when the peoples are in Rome. This man was born there, and all shall see in their festive dance. My home is with thee. All the nations praise the Lord. We stand. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My sheep hear my voice. 
Lord, says the Lord, I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Feast of Dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us for you. Jesus answered them, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. And you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Have you ever been in that sus uh, sus suspenseful uh, state? Most probably, yes. How many times there are people who tell you, Oh, I have something to tell you, but I'll tell you later. Or there is sometimes you water the tea, <coughs> and something exciting is going on, and then the captain comes up and says, To be continued. And so you are left, not knowing what is going to happen. But suspense is very good, is because it helps your curiosity and it helps you also to be patient, wait for the thing to come. And this suspense is one of the things that you look forward to because it gives you something to think about and it makes you excited so that you might be able to say, yes, I can see different ways of going about. And so the suspense that gives you gives you a variety of things that you can do or you can think about. And so suspense is really good. It helps to think in a positive way. Today we see in the Gospel, Jesus is celebrating the dedication feast. It is winter time. And yes, he's walking around and the people are questioning him. And they're questioning him about, are you the Messiah? How long are you going to keep us in suspense? And Jesus tells them plainly, I told you already, and you do not believe it. Now put yourself in that situation and think about it. What would you do? Would you be like the one who is like a sheep, who hears his voice and follows and believes in him? Or are you going to be the one who does not hear his voice? and does not believe in him. Today we celebrate the feast of a David. And David is the one who tells us, Eucharist gives us a life. Eucharist is the one that nurtures us and helps us how to go on to this life. And so he tells us, believe in him. Hear the word of God. And yes, be a good follower. Yes, we should. Today, we, we know that suspense has been given to us and we enjoy it. We know now how to go about it. We have seen many ways and different ways of going about it. But this way of following Jesus is the right way to go about it. And we pray that each and every one of us will follow Christ and hear His word.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which the earth has given and human hands sustain. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed be God Blessed forever. Be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. The fruit of the wine is the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual bread. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Oh. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from our iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on the feast day of the blessed Damien, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We lift up your heart. And we give back to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And it is truly right and just that you be in our salvation. Always and everywhere, we give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of the same Indian, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of and keep us safe in answer to his prayer, and so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, and without end, we acclaim. Santo, Santo, Santo es el Señor, Dios de In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
but the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of a when we need this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim you that the Lord has given you up again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, of your church, bread for the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Lord, all St. Thomas, our Bishop, and all the assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have lived you throughout the ages, we may manage to be co heads to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Son, and the Lord Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen.
May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which blessed Damien never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And do have a wonderful day. Thank you, Thank you Father. Your Father. Thank you. Thank you. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus.